Hi guys. This is D Igorotech. Today, I will show you easy steps on how to fix this Wi-Fi connected but no internet access issue. This is applicable for Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7. If you check the Wi-Fi properties you will notice these errors. The IP settings for all Wi-Fi networks have been set. The settings below won't be used. Same goes with the DNS. I will show you several ways on how to fix this issue. Let's get started. First step is we will forget the network and reconnect to it. Click on the Wi-Fi network icon. Click the arrow or manage Wi-Fi connections. Right click on the Wi-Fi connection then choose forget. To reconnect, click on the Wi-Fi connection again then click connect. Since we forget the network, you have to enter your Wi-Fi password then click next. Still no internet access. If it did not fix your issue then try the next process. Right click on the Wi-Fi connection. Properties. Check the IP assignments. If it is set to manual, you have to set it to DHCP. Click on edit. Click manual to expand the option then change it to automatic or DHCP. Click save. Now, try to reconnect again. If it did not fix the issue then proceed to the next process. Go to search. Type control panel. Click control panel app. Choose network and internet. Select network and sharing center. Click change adapter settings. Look for your Wi-Fi network. Right click on it then click disable. Wait for a few seconds. Right click again then choose enable. If this did not fix the issue then proceed to the next process. Change Wi-Fi IP settings to DHCP and DNS. Right click on the Wi-Fi network adapter. Properties. Choose Internet Protocol version 4. Properties. Choose Obtain an IP address automatically. This will set your network IP address to DHCP. For the DNS, you can obtain DNS server automatically. I recommend you to set it manually and input the Google DNS for primary and Cloudflare DNS as secondary. You can use different free DNS servers if you prefer. Click OK to apply the changes. Close the window. Notice it's identifying the Wi-Fi network. In my case, that solved the issue, I am now connected to the Wi-Fi and can access internet. You can double check on the notification icon. You can test your internet connection by going to search. Type CMD. Choose Command Prompt App. Type ping 8.8.8.8, .8 this is the Google DNS. If you can ping then you can access the internet. You can now open your browser and test your internet connection. You can see I can access the internet. If it did not fix your issue then proceed to the next process. Right click on start. Settings. Choose network and internet. Notice the internet error icon and it says not connected. Click on troubleshoot. Wait for it to detect the errors. Now, select the Wi-Fi network. If you're not sure, select the last option. Once done, click next. Wait for it to detect the problems. Problem found. DHCP is not enabled for Wi-Fi. Click on try these repairs as an administrator. This will automatically update your network settings. Choose apply this fix. Wait for it to resolve the problem. Notice that we are now connected to the Wi-Fi. The DHCP issue has been fixed. If still did not solve your issue then proceed to the next process. Go to search. Type device manager. Choose device manage control panel. Expand the network adapters. Look for your Wi-Fi or wireless network adapter. Right click on it then choose update driver. Since we are not connected to the internet then we cannot search automatically. Select browse my computer for drivers. Choose pick from a list. We are currently using the first option. We can try using the second option. 
If it did not work then try the third option. Click on it then click next. Installing drivers. Windows has successfully updated your drivers. If this did not work then proceed to the next process. Right click on your Wi-Fi or wireless network adapter. Choose uninstall device. You have to verify the process. Choose uninstall. The wireless network adapter has been uninstalled. You can see the wireless device has been removed. Don't worry, Windows can auto install your drivers using the default version even without internet. Now, click on actions. Choose scan for hardware changes. Windows will auto install wireless driver. Notice the wireless device has been restored. Now, try to connect to the Wi-Fi. You have to enter your Wi-Fi password again since the driver has been reinstalled. If still did not solve the issue then proceed to the next process. We will fix socket errors and reset IP address and DNS. Go to search. Type CMD. Right click on the command prompt app then choose run as administrator. Type net sh winsock reset. Hit enter. Successfully reset the winsock catalog. Next is type the command net sh intip reset. Hit enter. Restart the computer to complete the action. We will do this later. Next is we will clear the DNS cache. Type the command IP config slash flush DNS. Hit enter. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. We can now exit the command prompt. You can type exit then hit enter or close the window. Now, restart the computer. You can test after your computer restarts. If it did not solve the issue then try the next process. Go to search. Type control panel. Click control panel app. Choose Network and Internet. Select Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings. Look for your Wi-Fi network. Right-click on it. Properties. Click Configure. Go to Power and Management tab. Uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click OK. Now, test your Wi-Fi connection again. I'll give you Bono's tip. If your Wi-Fi or internet connection is slow or if you want to speed up your internet connection then you may try this method. Right click on your Wi-Fi icon. Choose network and internet settings. Go to properties. Under DNS server assignments, click edit. Expand the option then choose manual. Choose IPv4. For the preferred DNS, Enter the Google DNS which is 8.8.8.8. For the alternate DNS enter secondary Google DNS which is 8.8.4.4 or you can use the Cloudflare DNS. Click Save. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope one of the methods solved your issue. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.